Hello everyone, today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a, um, an egg that when you place it down, it will, uh, spawn a command block that, um, executes a specific command, or not just a single block, but you can also make it load whole structures, so every time you place it, it'll load a structure. Alright, so... You'll need a slash give at s command block and then structure underscore block in anvil spawn endermite and then a comparator. I do not know if you got, if you'll need it, but yeah, just have it. All right, so do that. And it's my first time doing it, so I don't know if I am doing it correctly. But I'm just doing it from like how I know commands. So let's do slash execute. Execute at, at E. Ender my comma name equal. Now let's say um so you need to get an anvil. Just then name your endermite. Let's say uh we want to put uh so every time when you summon the, when you place down the ender might, you want it to summon a command block that um, summons infinite wood, infinite diamond, let's say, or diamond block. You're going to do, just type a name, random name, diamond gen, alright, do that, and then type that in command, diamond, and then gen. Wait, did I put? Yep, alright. And then do that. And done. Run slash slash structure. Load diamond gen. Right there. And your next command is going to be chain conditional always active. Slash kill at e type equal ender my comma comma name equal diamond gen and when to place it it shouldn't do it because you need a structure block right now. All right, now get a command block that is going to be the command block that's going to put the diamond it's just going to be slash set block one up diamond underscore or there you go let's do that now just try to bring it in the end um, command in the structure block so you guys can save it there you go and make sure the boxes are inside. So just play around with the um, these things right here. Here, uh, all six of these, until you get the exact coordinates and like the, until your block is in the thing or your structure. Like if you want to have, if you want um, it to summon this house, you can also put that house in the structure block. And then click, and then type diamond diamond gen and then click save make sure it's the same thing as the command block right there diamond gen so no nope, it's not supposed to be capitalized save now let's test it it should work there you go it worked all right so um, now if you can, if you want, you can give it this to the players, and yes, they can actually use this, or you can just do it the easiest way of placing them, so you can make a bunch of these. So now let's say you want to make a dirt one. So you get those, let's say, um, so I just want to edit this, so you're just going to type, let's say, um, wood gen.
Now let's change your name. Wood. Wood. And then you're gonna do wood here. And then save this as wood gen. Save. Um, and make a one that is named wood gen. Wood. There you go. Now you'll get these. And if you want it to um, make the structure, like, like let's say you want the house. So you're going to get that. Uh, let's get rid of this command block, alright. You're going to place it right there. And then make sure it's in it. So you're going to do 6. Nope, let's do 8. There you go. By 8. By 7. By 7. There you go. Now let's do 10. Alright. Good. And if you do not want the floor, you can just do this and get rid of that part. There you go. And then do wood. Let me just type the same name. I do not want to change it again. Wood. Gen. No capitalization. You can capitalize it, but I, I didn't. Alright, so now let's go somewhere far. Let's go here place and you can just get rid of the structure block there you go place there and now let's say you want to make the fa uh, house facing that way you can just do this click this structure block and go to load and then go to rotation and make it 90 degrees and load and as you guys can see the house is now facing this way And you, yeah, you guys can basically do it anywhere. But if you want it to get um, rid of the structure block as soon as it summons, then what you gotta do is let's just summon one right here. All right, so you're gonna do this right here. So you gotta um, get this out of the system. Just basically um, do that so that the structure block is not within the box but is outside of the box. All right, now let's go click save. And now, if you summon it, it's gonna summon without the structure block and you guys can do it as many as you want. All right, let's just summon a bunch of them. All right, that's how you guys can do everything right there. And yep, with only two command blocks, you guys can do all of that. So here are the commands, in case you guys want to type it in again. Repeat, unconditional, always active. Chain, conditional, always active. And here it's command. All right, and I may put them in the description below if I'm not too lazy and if I don't forget. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you really did, if this tutorial did really help you out, please drop a like. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.